guys. Happy New Year. Finishing touches here. All right, we're back. Today's video, I'm going to tell you what to expect in your first 30 days whenever you're setting up a new tank. Every tank is a little different, but in my experience, these same issues arise each time you set up a new tank. And depending on how you're setting it up will depend on what takes place those first 30 days. So the big thing is expect your water chemistry to not be balanced right away. You wanna get a good test kit, guys. I would recommend Hanna or Salifert. If you have the API test, if you're in reef keeping, you really can't use those. They're okay for fish only. Or if you're, I don't know, just don't use the API test. First and foremost is the water chemistry. When I made the transfer, I tested my calcium, alkalinity, and pH. My calcium was 503 parts per million. My DKH was 11.8. My pH was fine. So what do you do in that situation? Now I have a 75 gallon tank. You may have a 75, 100, whatever. It's easy to do a water change on a 10, 20, 30 gallon tank. In my previous video, I told you that changing water is the number one method to get your tank balanced again if you're off in alkalinity and calcium. Reef crystal salt, freshly mixed, has about a 12 DKH and a 470 calcium. That's a balanced calcium to alkalinity ratio. So I was way above that. I like to keep mine around nine. And about 420 to 450 calcium. So the way I handled lowering the DKH and the calcium, other than water change, because I didn't want to start doing a large water change in the 75 gallon. I just didn't do any two-part, and all I added was RODI with no calc wasser, and I noticed daily it came down. Here's mine. Yeah, it was 11.6 and 520. The next time I tested, it came down to 10 to 485 parts per million calcium. So you right there, you know, in two days without adding calc wasser, it's coming down already. So my guess was when I mixed the water up in the 75 gallon, I had already a 12 DKH and a 470 parts per million calcium. So when I added the inhabitants, the live rock, it brought it down a little bit, but not a lot. I'm gonna let you guys know, I'm gonna start water change Wednesday up again. And it will be every other Sunday, so it's water change Wednesday on Sunday. If you have any questions about the 75 or still nanos, they're still here. 20 gallon has the A80 over it, so in this video setting it appears dark, but it's certainly enough to do any kind of soft coral. 10 gallon is still here. It's only got a few things in there, but I'm gonna build it back up. Obviously, in the first 30 days, you can expect some diatoms. Let's see what we got going here, guys. 65K. The rocks have been in here for about a week, and you can see the diatoms forming already, which is a good thing. Let them occur in here before this makes it into the display tank. Then there was another few weeks in the tank with more light, so if you notice now, the only areas that I have algae growing are on the glass surfaces where it didn't get too much light. I'm also going to show you what I did with the lighting here, just give you a little sample of how I think the lighting will work really well. So what's nice about the lighting, the way I have it set up, is I can control the PAR from here. So for example, this is 395 PAR right here. 
And if I had one light to cover the whole portion of this tank, this probably would be the same amount of par. But because this came from my 10 gallon, I know that required more par. I'm up to 450 par on this. going to have to deal with some of your corals not looking their best. If you do a transfer like I did, you're going to have to be patient and deal with some of your corals not making a comeback for a while. So my Australian leather after day one of being in there just completely closed up. If you're new, you'll think it's dying, but it's not. And it actually got so hard that it was growing algae on it and now you can see it's coming off just yesterday my australian leather came out of its cocoon it was looking terrible i also had to fix my leather coral it was coming loose it was only being held on by some of the green star polyps so in the transfer it must have uh, pulled loose so i adjusted that and that went dormant for three or four days or more it's just started to come up now i also added another higer in the back i have that not completely maxed the one on the front i realized i can max it out so it's steady stream the four power, which is the hardest you can go, and it's creating nice flow in there. I have all the fish in there, put the orchid dotty back in there, they're all adjusting well. They fight a little bit. The dotty back and the royal grama are fighting for location.